no question our honor to welcome in Army Specialist Daniel Foster, the recipient of the Silver Star before the game, Orange County resident and huge Angels fan. Huge Angels. Always. Been. Congratulations on the Silver Star, by the way. Thank you, sir. Well, what, and what an honor it must be for you, and not only that, to get an opportunity to have it presented to you here at the ballpark. It, it's an honor just to be here. A huge franchise fan, always love the Angels, and just, just to be able to be able to feel and feel and hear the fans. This is amazing. And getting to be in the dugout during the start of the game, you were there catching the first pitch of the game, bringing out the lineup card. This is an incredible day for you. It, it's unreal. <laughs> what, what, did Mike Sosha just, just, I mean, did you guys plan that, or did he just say, hey, you know what, we, why don't you come out and take out the lineup card, and then why don't you guys stay for a couple of innings? Yep, that's, that exactly, that's exactly how it went down. Did he have to twist your arm in it? Not at all. No, it didn't seem like <laughs> it, right? <laughs> More than happy to, to walk out there with him. What was the perspective like for you getting a chance to kind of watch how he hit the home run and welcome him back in the dugout and all that stuff for you? Awesome. Yeah. Uh, not, I, there's not a word I can describe that. He's seen that ball pop off on those rocks back there. Did you, at this point right here, look to your left and tell Bob Davidson how bad of an umpire it was last night? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you had a very good opportunity to do so. I was only able to catch the last couple innings. We actually <laughs> over that the lazy dog in the few, <laughs> kicking a couple back. But... There's nothing wrong with that. Not at all. Tough <laughs> loss for the Angels. And, uh, By you one. Said, grew up in the, was it Costa Mesa? Costa Mesa. In Costa Mesa. You've been an Angel fan your whole life. Is there in Sibia goes down swing. Is there a favorite Angel that you had growing up? Carew. Rod Carew. Yep. Uh, only, I've only been able, never got to see a lot. I was pretty young. I've only been able to see really replays. And it's always from stories from my dad. And I heard that he was, he was the real Angel player. Yeah. It's, so you get to see, obviously, you got to enjoy that 2002 when they won the World Series. You got to brag about your hometown team winning the World Series. Sure did. <laughs> oh, now we need another one this season. I feel this is, this is going to be the second one right here. Second one. Oh. I, I'm surprised that Soch let you leave the dugout as good as things were going for the Angels down there. The uh, actual deal was the inning we stopped, we, in the first inning we didn't uh, score a run. We we're going to walk back up here. And so they had to keep you down there. They had to keep us down there. Hey, now, serving overseas for you, there's got to be as difficult of a task as it is for you. And, you know, for every member of the armed services, there's always that, that I guess, the ability to kind of escape. And for you, perhaps baseball and the Angels, I know the uh, broadcasts are out there as this one shot to the island left center field. Vernon will track it down. There are two outs. But getting a chance to be overseas, knowing that you know what your full-time job is, but that little escape that you get a chance to maybe listen to some baseball has got to be a, a huge thrill for you and, and all the guys out there. It was. I'd, I'd have my dad send me newspaper clippings and emails about it. and just sit there up in the guard tower. He's waiting to get back to see a game. I mean, it's a lot of thrill. I, mean, you, I see your reaction. You're, you're a big-time Angel fan. You said a play by Vernon Wells, three-time Gold Glover. Cut off a lot of ground and make that play in the field. This is a great view up here, huh? This is the best view of the house, except for maybe down there in that dugout might be a little bit better. <laughs> but it's definitely not bad up here. All right, well, we mentioned that you, you got the Silver Star, and, of course, you went through an ordeal in Afghanistan. The Angels were in Chicago that day, and we want to show you the box score of what was going on. I mean, obviously, to put things in perspective, this is, this is just a little small snippet of what goes on in our world not even remotely close to anything that you have gone through in your lifetime, but just a, a look at how things played out for you, 6-5 against the White Sox. I mean, it's got to be at least a It's a, a good day. No, no. <laughs> yes and no, I could imagine. How, a difficult day for you, no question. No, we're, we're, honestly, it wasn't too bad. I didn't feel anything. <laughs> Adrenaline's a great thing. Um, Angels won a game. Pretty good day. No and American loss. I, I'd say it was a pretty good day overall. And then just go over and, and throw a couple back, <laughs> right? Especially after a victory. Yep. Daniel, we really, really appreciate your time here. This one is past the Sturis in the left field for a base hit. So a two-out knock here for Edwin Encarnacion. Congratulations from all of us, from the Angels organization, all the fans of there. We thank you for serving our country, and congratulations on the uh, thank Silver you for Star. Me, thank you for letting me be up here. It's been an honor being no, able to be You're a true hero. Thank an you, honor being thank with you. you. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Daniel. Appreciate it. Thank you. Go Angels, by the way. That's right. All right. There you go. Tonight. Enjoy the rest of the day.